In Boston tonight, hearing impaired athletes are making themselves heard as the National Deaf Basketball Tournament gets started at Northeastern University. More than just a series of games, this is a chance for the deaf community to take stock of a changing relationship with the hearing world. Marcus Jones has our story. The National Deaf Basketball Tournament is a 44-year-old tradition that few outside of the deaf community know about. The Boston organizers are trying to change that. We want the deaf world and the hearing world to learn about each other, and we really want the hearing world to understand what the deaf world is all about. Joe Ricciuti is a longtime activist for Boston's deaf community. He played a key role in bringing this national tournament to Boston. The deaf people are very, very interested in basketball. They like watching professional basketball, and they also like watching professional football. Deaf people have always enjoyed that, and they said that someday, uh, and deaf people will become involved in sports just like hearing people. That's the underlying message of this five-day tournament and rules conference. The deaf are people too. Competitive athletes and self-reliant individuals who don't want to be defined solely by their disability. On television and in films, we see a different perspective of the hearing impaired. Only stupid hearing people think that deaf people are stupid. On the evening news, their protests resound throughout the hearing and non-hearing worlds alike. Is this a sign of the deaf community maybe coming out of its own self-imposed isolation? Well, really, the year before 1964, the hearing community really it really didn't have really a real understanding among how the deaf people were working, how they were communicating. There was a lot of real serious communication breakdown between the hearing and deaf community uh, because at that time it was very, very oral orientation in their education uh, for deaf people and sign language was forbidden. And in 1964, the, that mentality started to decrease and they started looking at total communication and the government passed laws to provide deaf people the opportunity to interact with hearing people in, in, in this generation. As the host of this national tournament, the Boston Deaf Club hopes to do more than just raise awareness about the deaf community. They hope to raise funds. Money that will be used to build a new clubhouse, more accessible to its members, more visible to the public. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.